and welcome to the video. Today we are headed to the gym doing legs today. It's going to be a good day. Great workout today as well. I know it is. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this since Wednesday because, um, I don't know, I just like Wednesday to midday Tuesday. Like, it's just, it's, this one about, I mean, I love midday or Wednesday, general, but especially like Tuesday. Like, I don't know why. It's just like the day after Monday. Like, no one's really there. It's just like, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. So, I think Tuesday is a solid day to and go do a midday workout, but yeah, man. So, hey guys, well, welcome to the video today. We have um, squats today and feeling pretty good. Had an off day yesterday as well. So, now the off day was actually uh, two off days. So, it was one on Friday and oh, sorry, it was Saturday. Uh, it had one on uh, Monday. So, yeah, so yesterday, so that's Tuesday. Um, the goal today is to increase on squats um, by, I would say, five, two to five percent. Like, because last time we did 335, 345 for a set of, what was it? It was a set of, um, oh, shoot. I don't remember, it's 10, it's 10. I gotta check my, my, I gotta check my sheets. So that's why you track stuff, because if I didn't track it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So this is why it's so important to track stuff and track your workouts and track, track everything, man. So, so important to do that. But um, I think uh, for sure, ah, today, oh, today um, for sure, we definitely need to up the weight just, just a tad. Like, you know what? I can go a little crazy today. I don't know, crazy, right? But taking a good time, a good amount of time to time to stretch, to foam roll, to you know release any tight muscles that I may have, any tightness, any, any uh, whatever it is, tightness or whatever. So I have my clothes packed here. And I actually, I actually packed a little bit of food too, but I don't know if I need it right now. I feel I'm a little bit hungry, but still, I don't think I need it at the this very moment. That's a, that's another, another another thing too, man. If you you can meal prep stuff, like meal prepping meals is clutch. Like you, if you guys feel like meal prepping is a lot of work, it kind of is, but it's worth it. So if you have, if you have a goal to hit uh, weight loss or muscle building. When you don't have time to eat, don't have time to, um, yeah, eat, just eat, or time to not eat, right? Or, I guess, that doesn't make sense, but regardless, if you don't have time to eat, this is gonna be a good thing, it's gonna be a gotcha for you, because the reason why, if you think about it, right, think about it, you can go probably hours, especially if you have a, you know, a, a very busy job or business, you can go hours without eating anything. That's the thing, like you can go literally hours without eating a dang thing. So, having said that, if you feel like, okay, you know, I wanna um, lose weight, I wanna gain muscle mass, but no, I don't, eat, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to eat, I don't know where I'm gonna eat at, this could be a gosh for you, because meal prepping is it's huge, it's huge, it's massive. It's a big, 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 ugh. Hey, it's time man. I don't know why I'm on, it's only 10, 21 in the morning. But, yeah, if you just meal prep on Sundays for a couple hours, you'd be a lot better off. You'd be a lot better off. Trust me. Like I don't do it now because I can go home and make lunch and stuff and go eat dinner. I probably should though, to be honest with you. And I, I, I on days when I'm busy, I, I can still go home and get some work done. But still, it's like you know, I just uh, I just don't really know. I don't really know. But it's uh my from my experience meal, meal, meal prepping has helped me out a lot. So I think it'll help you out a lot too. But yeah, I'm gonna check in with you guys after we're in the gym. But yeah, I'm gonna check in with you guys when I'm in, in the gym, and uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a great workout today. And we need to have great workouts. I mean, not every lift is gonna be. So it's like great, good, great. Some are gonna be, you know, I thought I saw a stat, it's like 40% are gonna be good, 40% are gonna, gonna be bad. Well, yo, uh, uh, okay. 5% are gonna be, be bad. And 5% are, are, are gonna be great. Like, there's no really like a lift. It's really not, not very common because I, I think a lot of factors have to line up where you have an like, amazing workout. I mean, unless you push yourself. I, mean, I feel like you shouldn't even do that though. You shouldn't really, you know, go like push up to the very, very brim every single time. You know, you gotta, you gotta have a little bit of, um, not balance, but a little bit of, what's the what's the word looking for? Um, oh, just a, just a little bit of, 
working smart. Let's say you're working smart, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check in, check in with, you guys, with you guys after or when I'm when I'm when I'm in the gym. All right, squats now. Sorry, watch the fight. Yeah. Again. All right, let's try. That's what we're.
go. Fight for it. We got this. Easy money. Easy money here. Come on. Easy money. What's that bird phone to? Let's go. Come on, turn here. Turn. Extension straps. Extension straps. Crap. Let's go. Uh. Let's try again. Some of the reason straps though. Still 10 reps here. Still, still straps, still 10. That we're going here. We're going for eight to ten. Eight to ten. Losing traps. Losing traps here. Man, this is like the dream, man. This is really what I want my life. I want like better workouts. Man, it's so amazing. I love it so much. Every day, single day, workout, man. It's amazing. Whew. Whew. 
Three reps, four sets. Drop sets, 10 each, let's go. Drop sets. And drops. But you know what? Some more reps. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Ten. Ah. Two more sets. Crap. Crap, man. Damn, man. Let's go. Two more. Heck yeah. Woo. And that is a leg push drop set. So, oh my gosh, quads are dead. So, now we got a, a leg curls and the leg curls next, and then leg extensions. So, yeah. Mmm. So nice, so nice. We did it. So nice day. I'm so fortunate. Well, I want to keep on doing that coming near this time of day. Like, seriously, you, you, you can give me anything. You can be like, Five hundred million dollars. Probably still will not. Well, it would equate to the happiness of uh, like, like the impact for anyone now because I could do many workouts twenty four seven, twenty four seven. So I'm just trying to find a way to do this twenty four seven as a selfish reason, of course, as a selfish reason. So, <laughs> but uh, keep going. Let's go. Another 20 here. So 20 at, we'll go at 110. 
I think we got a drop set. Uh, three sets drop set. Let's go. Ten more. One. Oh, two. Crap. Three more. Ah, Three. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ah. Maybe. Ooh, seven. Eight. Nine. That's it. That's all we got. Shoot. Ooh. And I drop set. So it'll be ten. Ten, ten. That is. Woo. So it's a hundred. A hundred. And then 110 there. 110. And then we'll do 110, 100, and then 90 for the three sets. So 10, 10, 10. So that's, uh, you're done. I got the extension for that. I'm really sure I'm different. I might do something different in the extension though. I always do that. Probably some different. So now. 10, 10, 10. some half reps there because I don't know if I can get my legs all the way up. My hamstrings are freaking just smoked, smoked. So I'm gonna try some different now. I'm gonna try actually doing a one-legged, like a tempo here, and a lunge, obviously a lunge to the, oh my gosh, extension. So, oh my, whew, legs, let's go. Right, two more sets here, we're doing a one-weighted, one-legged lunge here. 85 pounds. So we're gonna do here, we got this. This is a new one here. Excuse me. No more than 10. My quads are beat. Oh man. Holy crap. Oh my god, my quads. Oh, baby. One more set. The quads are pumping now. So pumped. Pumper now as heck. The calves are good. Whew. Man. Thanks for doing. Shoot. Got almost there. 
Shoot. So I'll probably do, um, I don't know, 12 to 13 here. Maybe 12. So that'd be 10, 10, 10, 10. No, that's good. There's plus fire. So that's it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, baby, let's go. Fifteen. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we know we have on this side. Two more. No way, no way, no way. A bit more is good. That's it. Cutting off there. We're good. All right, so let's go. 15 ups here, three sets. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just up, up, up. All right. Let's do it now. What's up? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I like the uh, the change up on the calf inside the other way, on the calf, uh, quad. The lunges, that was a good change up, that was a good change up, I like that a lot. So, we'll do um, the two more sets here with this. And then we'll probably be pretty good there. So, probably a little bit of hips, like just the hip workout. Yeah, I feel pretty good today. I feel pretty good today. This, this is not working out. It's just a special love coming at, coming at this time, man. Like, in between like 11 and 1, 2, 3 is like so nice, dude. You start quick step here for the gym. Uh, is it if in Michigan? If you start in Michigan, it went from 11 a.m. to 1.30, 2 p.m. It's gonna be dead, do your whole workout. Even like, maybe even 2.30, maybe, maybe depends on how you do it though. But it depends on what your gym is, what location you're at. But generally speaking, the gym will be pretty dead. This is a holiday weekend. Weekends, they flip, so think about it, right? So, oh, man, so think about it, right? Like the weekends, the weekends are, um, peak hours are from like 9.30 to like probably around 9.30 to a.m. to about probably 11, 30, 12. That slows down a little bit and then evening is pretty dead, depending on who's working and what, but Sunday night's pretty dead by the way. So it flips. So keep that in mind, like, I, I guess I could actually give you guys a whole hack on the best time to go to the gym because uh, there's actually a lot you gotta time it right and everything so but yeah it's good so far it's good stuff let's go Whew. all right so we're done with the workout solid lit day today the squats we increased to a 345 we should have eight working back slowly i'm not gonna go as much of an increase as i did the last time i did it because i increased a little bit too much then we're getting a little bit tenice in my knee so we said that we we're going to increase slowly. So we went up like about 10 pounds more in last week. And we did the same of, of, uh, of, of um, reps, so eight. So I feel pretty, pretty good about that, I do. Honestly, we, 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 may, uh, we may keep it there next week as well. And the next leg day will be so tomorrow's shoulders and arms. Um, Thursday is... Um, pull, no push, push. Friday's pull, Saturday's off, and it'll be Sunday. So, Sunday's a slight day, so then that means I have to come in here probably in the morning at some point. Um, man, dude, this, I've been looking forward to this Tuesday workout from like since last week, last week because it was a midday workout. Um, it was a late day, midday mid workout, laid down on Tuesday, and I knew it was gonna be dead, so. I'm pretty happy I came in today on a Tuesday. 
because then Tuesdays are like one of the best days to come in mid at midday. It's only right now because it's like dead, but um, we're gonna go get, get some food now. Probably gonna cook some food at home, so. If y'all ready, I'm ready. 1.15 p.m. right now. Let's get going home and uh, cook up some food. We're gonna head this off first and uh, yeah, let's go. By the way, oh, by the way too, if y'all are curious about what this is, this is a foam roller. So, you will basically roll on any tight muscles or tight areas and do what's called a myofascial release. So, whatever muscle fibers are tight, or like they knot up in a sense, it loosen, does it think about like a, a rolling pin on dough, kind of flattens out a little bit and kind of just loosens up tight areas. This is a great, great, this is gonna be a great tool to use. Um, after or before your workouts and even after too. I mean, they can really, they can really dig into, can really dig into tight spots. It really can. Like it's insane how just how much it can dig into tight spots. It's crazy. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these on Amazon. Uh, you can start with with a smooth one and then you can increase. I know they have the the spiky ones. It's like a black spiky one I have. It's like really really hard. But I've built up enough tolerance to it to where now I can handle it handle it a little better. I mean, definitely still not like, you know, the best, but if you're a first time foam roller user, I recommend the smooth ones for sure. And what you want to do though, is I see a lot of people doing this mistake here, is where they put their, their back on the foam roller and they literally use it like they're a dough on one pin. It's an analogy, but you shouldn't be going like, like this, you shouldn't be going like this, it's like, no, no, no. You should be going here and on a spot that feels tight, you should be, you know, arching your back, not pulling your neck, arch five. You should be going on like sections of spots. Not going like this, because then that can risk any more muscle injuries or tears, or not tears, but strains. Then after that, you got a whole bigger problem after that, because it's going too fast and too forceful. So, the lat two. Lats is a big culprit. This is the, this is the muscle that goes from here, your, um, your, under your armpit down to your low back. So this can cause a lot of issues too if this does become tight. So I recommend also getting this all taken care of as well. So there's a lot of things you, you can do with the foam roller. And actually, I can make a video on that as well. I make a video. Like, simple things to do with the foam roller. I mean, I make a video. Actually, I might do that right now on, a, like on, on, on an Instagram reel. So I'm actually gonna make that right now. That's a good idea. Let's do that right now. Let's go. Heck yeah, let's do it now. Video idea, baby. Video idea, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So, saw what we got today. Late day. Squats. Hit it hard. Solid day, man. Solid late day, man. Look at all this empty parking lot, man. It's so nice. Uh, we need this. I mean, I feel like one day. I don't, I don't say one day. I feel like eventually, not even. Not eventually. I think in five to ten years, I can have my. I have my studio now. But. I think as it grows, I think I can literally have my own literal gym. I have my own literal space where I can go and I can lift midday and I can give everyone great pay because I think that's truly missing in the industry is giving everyone great pay because I think that the industry does not offer a true livable salary and wage unless you have your own business but the risk for your own business not risk i think that i think they want to take a risk you should do it but i think also that providing great pay and salary for trainers is so so important because you know the right trainers and the good ones who just want to make a living doing what we're doing what they love to do i've seen it before i cannot do it because it's just it's literally not that easy so my goal i think my my, my, my mission too to provide a salary, like so, you know how like, engineers and doctors and lawyers and how they have the. Uh, I think even lawyers. I think, I think lawyers have it, but I don't know doctors. Engineers definitely have salaries. Like they have, you know, one hundred fifty thousand dollars salary. You know, fifty thousand, like, eighty thousand dollars, right? I think the goal would be to provide a sixty to eighty k salary that we can live off it, plus commission. Not all commission, because the industry needs needs a change. It needs a shift, right? The industry, the, the fitness industry, to industry, industry that today needs needs a shift, where it needs a more sustainable approach. Because then we will keep like, keep more people. But then it also, I think I also want to raise the barrier to entry in the industry too. Because like guys, it's so effed up right now. The barrier to entry in the fitness industry is just a P certification that you can get in a weekend. So, that also needs to change with, I think we have like an actual school 
of, you know, I, I'm not sure how I want to figure out, but actually school for trainers as, as accredited, uh, like kind of like a trade school, right? You go to trade school, but this will be only for trainers. It can be offered at college, it can be offered whatever. It's kind of like, like, like PTI, but a little different. But this can be for any, like, fit, but it needs to actually be profitable. So you have health coaches, PTs, not me, mean trainers, right? And you'd also have um, nutritionists, right? People, 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 people want to be, because anyone can be a new, nutritionist, right? But you need to actually have, um, like, a, a nutrition background in a sense, I should say. But I don't know, it's just my theme, but whatever. Um, <laughs> But anyways, so we're off now, back home, and we are now gonna go get, grab some food, and yeah, man, catching up with you guys after I'm done, so let's go. Okay, so I think what's important is we need to talk about the best protein supplements you can get. So I feel the first one is going to be definitely 110% Transparent Labs. The reason being, great taste. Now. Some things can be a little tasty, not like not tasty, and some things can be tasty. It depends on what you're what you're getting. But um, I debate right now if I should get Chipotle. If I should, nah, I don't know. I'm like, eh. Um, I actually may do it today. I may get Chipotle because that, that would save me a little, little bit of time. Two fifteen right now. I think that would save me a bit of time. I'm, I'm gonna pay cash though. I'm gonna pay cash today. For Chipotle, so I think that that's a good bet today. Chipotle paying cash, I don't have a problem with that. I really don't. I think, that, I think that that's a solid bet. Then we can go right back home after this and eat Chipotle and shower up because that'll save me probably about ooh, man. I don't know. I, I have some money left on my gift card from Chipotle, but um, man, I'm still a little bit caught. Like, do I want to get Chipotle or not want to get Chipotle? I am paying cash for it. Yeah. I only try to aim to eat out. You know what? You know what? Nah. Nah. We are not falling into temptation today, guys. We're not, we're, we're not doing it. We aren't doing it. No. We shall not eat out. We can't eat out. No, no, no. We can't do it. We shall not fall into any sort of temptation or anything at all. We can't do it. No. Cannot afford to do it. I can't afford to do it. I, I, I refuse. I refuse to fall into any sort of temptation to eat out. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I refuse to do it. I refuse to do it. We, we will not do it. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I refuse to do it. So, Chipotle, ask yourself. I shall not be eating out with you. Sorry about that. But, uh, I should not be eating out. I was so close. I'm like, man, we'll fall into temptation. No, not today, baby. Not today, baby. I eat out once a week, and that's from, from, from my cheat day. That's it. Other than that, save money. Save any money, bro. That's all I'm saying. Meal prep, go, 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 go to the grocery store, buy your food, cook, cook your food. Man, you don't want to be freaking spending money on freaking eating out, man. That's just the dumbest thing ever. It actually really is, though. It, really is the, actually, it actually is really dumb, if you think about it. Like, yes, I... <laughs> Anyways, but... Um, Transparent Lab is probably my favorite protein supplement that I've taken, and but but I just, right, so just today, just today I, I took what's called Prestige Labs Prestige Fuel Protein. It's probably one of the best tasting protein powders I've had, like probably ever. Just just saying, just putting it out there, like it's probably one of the best. Having said that, I don't know every flavor, and I, I it also has sucralose in it. Therefore, I don't know how good it actually, how good it actually is, but that's my, my thoughts. But um, we're gonna head, I actually have to confirm real quick on the paint for the studio. I gotta call up my contractor and tell him we're good to go for the paint. Uh, I still think all black's good, the paint job. I'll probably be there and go, I'll probably be there to, be there to go get it on Thursday. Thursday after the paint, and we're gonna buy some used equipment to start off because we are really budgeting out the studio and we're really trying to make this dream come true. And we really need to budget it out. So, the guys, you understand, man. Like, if you ever see see these massive gyms that have all this equipment, that equipment, it's probably you probably spend three or four hundred k just on the equipment alone. Like, gyms are so expensive, so much. Like, to pay cash for a gym. 
you really need to save up and you really need to be good and you really, really need, need to be in, in the industry for a while saving up um because man it is not a cheap investment at all because like, dude gyms are just a freaking no they're i don't want to say they're a money pit because it depends on how you do it right if you do it right if you do a gym right if you do the marketing right and you do like example um at my gym the owner is doing hers right she has staff she has been in the industry for a while and she's also paying her and paying her trainers good well so they stay and she doesn't really get a lot of new equipment at once she does she does is she does but she doesn't at the same time so i just think gyms have potential they really do they really do have a lot of potential but man they're like you know you want to say oh i want to have my own gym so i can make more money okay great but take into account how much a gym actually costs like how, how much does a twenty thousand square foot gym with equipment and everything cost you like a studio is not much like a studio a, a training studio to start off is it's not that's not actually not much probably one of the more probably one of the cheaper, cheaper brick and mortars that you can start but a gym is probably one of the more expensive ones an actual full out gym because one piece of equipment in a gym is new brand new this latest model five five or six grand like that's just one piece. This is one piece. That's that's crazy. That's insane. So and Arsenal's probably even more. Probably seven grand, eight grand for Arsenal stuff. So you look at these gyms. These all blacked out, twenty thousand square foot gyms. You gotta understand that the equipment in that gym is <laughs> if it's brand new, man. You're they're 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 spending a check on that. They're spending a lot on that. So, but if you do it right. Meaning, once again, good marketing strategy, clientele, members, the churn, which is the monthly, which is the amount of people that leave your gym per month, the churn is low because you have good equipment and good members and good community, then you'll be able to do well. So I, but you just gotta get there first. And that's, that's the challenging part, right? Because if you're a trainer looking to become a gym owner, like trainers don't even make a lot of, like I was able to do it at a commercial gym which is to make a sustainable income and put some money away to savings. Um, Cause I, I was, I was just, I worked all the time and I was literally just on the floor 24 seven and I was good at people I feel like. And I, I, I learned sales skills and I was top 10 in the nation. So I feel like I had a better, um, I, and I also was passionate too, I was passionate about it too. And mm, so I, I did pretty well at a commercial gym, commercial gym. Now, is that sustainable long term? Like, was I doing sustainable? Probably not because, like, you make a good income, but it's not like, you know, insanely good income. It's not like, you know, you're making 100 grand a year, right? You gotta be, like, 200 grand a year. You gotta be really, really. To make that, to make that, you gotta commercially, you gotta, you gotta grind your face off. You gotta grind your face off. But I'm. Um, you literally have to just be going, 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 going. Because going, 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 grinding your face off. And on top of that, too, you gotta retain your clients. So, if you have a studio, I recommend anyone who wants to do a studio. And I'm literally just I'm so brand new, so don't even like, maybe don't, don't, don't take my advice. But um, anyone wants to do is looking to even think about doing a studio, go to a commercial gym first or some, some gym, learn from a, a, an owner or learn from someone. Um, sales skills, your people skills, and I think that will give you your foundation and your base to really go off on your own, do your own thing. So, um, yeah, so that, that, that's kind of what I've learned so far, and it's not an easy industry to make it, I feel like it's not, but once again, it's a problem. Like, we need sustainable income and sustainable salaries and higher barrier to entry in, in, in the industry. We do. It's so saturated with these. Like, have you guys ever seen the online training space? It's so saturated. It's not even funny. Like, people who have never trained before in their life are going and doing online training because they think, they think it's a quick income and good side, side hustle, right? And they're, they're hurting people. They're not getting people results. They have no idea what they're doing. And... If you put that person in person, like in person training, they would have no idea how to train a person at all. No idea, not the least bit. So that's just my gripe with it. You, it's very tough to stand out to you. You, you. you build connections. Connections are literally 
help retention so, so much. Like, connections help build retention so much. Insane how much it helps. How much it helps. So, that's my point of view. That's my take on it. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's all, that, that's all it is. So, but, um, yep, anyways. But, hey, back home now. I didn't get Chipotle. We're going we're gonna to cook at home. So, like we usually do, we're going to eat out on Friday because we have a cheat day to cheat, cheat meals on Friday. So, yep. I'm going to catch, catch up with you guys in a little bit. So, let's do it. Let's go. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If y'all did enjoy it, I appreciate you smashing the subscribe button. I'm looking for more content just like this. Also, if you guys want to lose weight, you must mess, gain confidence, make sure you apply to my coaching program. I'm more happy to help you out. But, anyways, that's all I got. And I will see our brosies in the next video. Oh.